The title of the last episode was The Experiment. Now, in The Experiment, we talked about we had this wine tasting, uh, we designed a double-blind experiment, and we talked generally about randomness. So we're going to start off today and kind of gauge your understanding of what we mean by chance. Let's discuss that as small groups. Tutors sometimes use chance and probability like interchangeably, yep. but I think that's probably not okay. really accurate. Yeah, I guess chance is kind of just stuff happening and probability is trying to measure how likely it is that stuff happens. Yeah. But chance looks like something when it isn't. Whether you're actually detecting something in the sky or something, you're comparing it to nothing at all. You're comparing it to the absence of structure. Doesn't the, the whole Schrodinger's cat experiment kind of violate that? Mm. Well, even a coin flip. I mean, if you had a really good physicist and a lot of time, and you flipped that coin, you could count, you could compute, you could write an equation specifically for what that coin is going to uh, come out, whether it's going to be heads or tails. I don't know how she does it. Yeah. Um, she just goes, that machine, play that machine and play yeah. this amount. And yeah. It will win. Yeah. I mean, maybe the universe is randomness and chaos. Yeah. And we're just seeing patterns. Chance and randomness are just words we use to describe things when all the external factors aren't immediately quantifiable. What causes superstitious belief? How did we go from a, I walked like a black cat across my path this morning to Oh, I broke both my legs on the train later today. Like you say, you have no superstitions. Yes. My example is people might fall down the stairs and break their legs and they don't want to say, oh, it's because I was careless or because I'm uncoordinated. They want to blame it on the fact that they like opened an umbrella inside like on the way to work or something. You believe in things because um, it's a cultural thing, it's been passed down from your family and it just becomes part of something that you can draw on. You, you remember those instances more than, than perhaps other things. So when next time you see a black cat, all these these examples might come rushing to your mind. That a uh, common aspect is the, the pattern recognition systems. I think Gilovich talked about how, um, like we have this cognitive machinery to see patterns in everyday life, which is very useful, um, but it's it's fallible in a sense. Like it, it makes mistakes, and um, that can sort of uh, like cause the creation of those superstitious beliefs. 